And good afternoon once again. All week long, we've been bringing you stories of the impact of September 11, 2001. Now ahead of Saturday's 20th anniversary, Local 12 News anchor Paula Todi is here with how the attacks affected the people who bring you the news. And Paula, this is a moment where everyone thinks, I was, I was here, I was there, I was someplace. I'm still getting chills over it. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, there are a handful of us at Local 12 on both sides of the camera who were working in news that fateful morning. I have a three-part look at that day. First, remembering where we were. But people were gathered around those monitors on Fountain Square with no audio explaining to them what was going on, just watching the images and I think all sensing that something different was going on. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. We're providing the commentary as much as we could because we really didn't know what was happening. Like you, you're just thinking, oh, something horrible has happened, but you're not really sure what. It's just a lot. Um, bricks, a lot of bricks, a lot of glass. I had just gotten my oldest on the bus for school. And I think I need to, I need to get my, my, my people here with me. I need to go get my daughter. For, I don't know what I thought. I, I thought I need, to, I need to get her home. I just felt the need to have everyone I cared about as close to me as I could get them. When we heard the Pentagon had been hit, that was the moment I sunk down in a chair. I called my dad and I said, I feel like these are the end of times. And he said to me, that's exactly how we felt with Pearl Harbor. And that perspective was so, I carry that with me all the we time. We have no idea how many were on board or what is what the extent of the injuries are right now. But I do remember thinking at that moment and not saying it, this is a terrorist attack. First person I saw was our executive producer who was working evenings with me, stepped out of her car, looked at me and burst into tears. And it wasn't certainly wasn't the only tear we saw in this newsroom that day. We're in the in the heat of it, and we're we're trying to find the Cincinnati connection to everything, and we're we're mainly like all watching the networks. And everyone just sort of had a stunned look on themselves. And I walked over to Rob Ron's office. He stood up. He walked over, looked at me, and we hugged each other. It was that kind of day. And you just you just wanted to go home and hug your wife respect that there had been some of that hugging and holding on to each other and all of that kind of stuff but I think if it went through anybody's mind and this is just speculation on my part is that as soon as that starts the tears don't stop It yeah. brings you back to that yeah. moment. Doug was in Washington that day, our executive producer. We're going to hear a lot more from Doug Lillibridge, working close enough to the Pentagon that day to actually see and smell the smoke. I, I really appreciate him, especially just reliving that. Um, we're going to have more at 5 and 6. I know you were working in New York that day. It had to be particularly hard for you. You know, I remember two things. I remember that I was going to meet Heather Renee French, who mm, was from Miss here? Kentucky sure. at the time, and yeah. she was going to do a veterans event. Oh. And I was in New York, and she was going to go there. You always remember that. Yeah. And then I remember, and this is just from the medical side, being upset because they wouldn't let me go to the ground. Oh. I actually wanted, wanted to, to be there, and they said, no, we're going to let some other crews handle that. I and think that was a I, good decision. We well, well yeah, in hindsight, know. I feel like yeah. God really was looking out yeah. for me because yeah. I, you don't know what you would have walked into, but yeah. that's that journalist in you that wants to be there. Yeah. We, I think, well, and so many people here said that. They just, they went to work, whether it was their day off or not. They wanted to be here, and I found comfort in the chaos of being with other people here. It was my day off, but it's where I wanted to be because this is where I feel comfortable in a panic situation in an odd way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Paula will have much more at 5 and yeah. 6.